Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Don Nelson. Our first news headline tonight has to do with education. The state's public school superintendent is pushing to increase the K through 12 budget. Sherry Barr is asking the state legislature for a 5.3 percent hike in education spending. That comes out to a little more than $100 million. Ibarra would spend almost half the increase on raising salaries for veteran teachers. The superintendent also wants more money for literacy, mastery-based education, and training for educators on social emotional learning. Ibarra will present her budget to the legislature in January. How Idaho funds schools could be up to you if one group has its way. Reclaim Idaho, the grassroots organization that successfully got the Medicaid expansion measure on the ballot and passed, has a new mission. Organizers have filed paperwork for a voter initiative to try and boost education spending. This is a group that's had success and fairly recent success with the initiative process. So by virtue of that, you kind of have to take this uh, proposal seriously just because of uh, Reclaim Idaho's recent track record. This latest push is called Invest in Idaho. It would increase tax rates on corporations and anyone making more than a quarter million dollars a year. The group claims this would create an additional $170 million to be placed in the public school's account. The state could spend that money on a number of education initiatives, including teacher salary increases, all-day kindergarten, classroom supplies, and career technical programs. A key theme from Reclaim Idaho is let's take some of that burden off of property owners. Let's take some of the pressure off of local patrons who have to approve these levies every one or two years. Let's see if we can fund some of these you know, education initiatives through another path. If you want to hear more about Reclaim Idaho's plan, check out Michelle Edmonds' Making the Grade interview at our website at sixonyourside.com. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Still hot weather. One more day of it to come as well. Upper 80s to low to mid 90s in the valley today. 93 in Boise, a little cloud cover, keeping the temperature down a little bit relatively, but still hot. Look at this near 90 in McCall and uh, just above 90 in Boise. So it's almost as hot in McCall today. And that heat will be around again tomorrow. Red flag warning in effect now. This is going to be through uh, Friday morning at 6 o'clock because especially tomorrow, late in the day and tomorrow evening and overnight tomorrow night, lightning strikes will be coming through as thunderstorms push through. We're seeing some to the east towards the Magic Valley right now, but the big deal for this red region where the red flag warning is here is going to be for tomorrow night. Uh, the chance for some new fire starts and any fires that are going now, there will, could be some uh, active fire growth because of the hot conditions. We've got a big change coming in though. The system that will affect us is this little low pressure swirling right offshore here. That'll push to the north and to the east. And as it does, uh, st storms like you see forming here will reform tomorrow up in this region right in here. And that's why we have the chance for more lightning strikes and fires. My extended forecast, however, 97 with that scorching heat tomorrow. We'll get that drop after some thunderstorms. Thursday night and Friday morning, but Friday night for the football game, I think looks pretty good as the sun goes down, could be comfortable. It will be uh, kind of hot during tailgate time, but then just as that evening comes in, you know, nice it gets. That's the way it will be. No storms. Nice day Saturday, although a little hot at 90. And then Sunday, we've got a big change coming in. Clouds coming in. Rain showers in the morning, especially with temperatures only in the 70s in the afternoon and very comfortable, pleasant weather heading into the middle part of next week. There's your updated forecast. Another update coming in later tonight right here.